So let's talk traveling to Italy. This year, I'm gonna be going by myself. The way I'm gonna be traveling and packing my luggage is gonna just be slightly different. So I'm taking with me one large suitcase and I absolutely wanna be hands-free. And I don't wanna take on a carry-on because it'll just be too much for me to be handling. First things first, I found this great purse that will turn into a crossbody for me to carry in front. And I also am gonna be taking a backpack on. So I have those two things. This gives me hands-free to be picking up my luggage and running through the trains and doing all those things for me very easily. I know everything that I have in here will be what I keep the safest and that I need accessibility to. So I know there's smaller ones, but for me, this is what's gonna work. This will turn into a clutch if I take that off. And there's a beautiful gold chain that goes with this so that it can turn into a nice evening bag. So I have everything covered. I actually have, it's about this size and if it's perfectly into the purse, and this is where I keep all my valuables, my licenses, my passports, and like I said, my train tickets or anything that I need. I always keep this in one area so I'm not digging through pockets or anything like that. And then also I have to have my glasses my lip gloss and my phone. So running around Rome or wherever I'm going, I know I can have this and keep it safe. So sweater coat that I have will go on the plane with me. So it'll keep me warm because sometimes the planes get super cold or I can take this off and kind of use it as a blanket. So this will be very universal for me. And I'll be good when I'm in Italy that I will know I will be getting chilly, especially in the evenings and I can have this and intermix with all the clothes. It's also know what your temperature is going to be. So definitely check your temperatures. So I have, honestly have never really used a backpack <laughs> and I know for sure I'm gonna need it this trip. So I just definitely want the things that are absolutely necessary for me to stay comfortable during my plane ride. I definitely keep a little pouch and I wanna keep everything together, especially moving from hotel to hotel or just my accessibility to this. So this has all the uh, special cords that I need for my Apple Watch, for my phone. But I also make sure I have in there the outlets that I will need for Italy. So I, that's in there. And then also my headset uh, earplugs that I want to use on the plane. One little tip that I found on some of the planes and not all of them, they accepted a USB, not the new uh, iPhone, the smaller cords. So I have in there a special, the USB that I need for my iPhone. Also, what's going to be going into my backpack will be my touch-up makeup. For one thing I make sure is in here is my Lumify. The, between the plane rides and everything, my eyes always get so irritated. So Lumify is the only thing I use and I make sure that's on the plane. And I have like little towelettes to wash up my face and freshen up if I need to. I also and have a few snacks in here. The thing is I absolutely take a lip uh, moisturizer. We'll ask you to take this out and have it in a clear plastic bag so that when I get into my international customs or anything like that, I can just pull this out. I don't take a lot of jewelry with me. I usually will change up my earrings and then one necklace that I use. I love the ones that I get from White House Black Market just because they are convertible and I'll kind of switch up to the different shirts that I'm wearing. Of these, I can either wear just one, two, or three. So I'm just taking one of these along with your necklaces that you leave out the one point and zip up the bag. Most importantly is my itinerary. I have all my hotel information. The nice thing is too, because the address is in here, as I get into a taxi in Rome, I just show them the address and things get really simple there. Other thing I mostly take, because I do not like my feet to be cold, I always take a pair of socks that will keep my feet warm during the plane rides that I can just slip on and off and have them real accessible to me. And then lastly, I do take an empty water bottle with me. There are plenty of areas throughout the airports that you can go in and fill up your waters. And if I'm walking through Italy or anything like that, I just know I just need a small bottle. So on the plane, 
I want to be very comfortable, especially because I am almost, I think I'm 12, 13 hours in or between several planes. I love my knitwear. So I take my knitwear pants and then the matching sweater, which will work with the weather that I'm going to, and usually like a white t-shirt underneath. So I'll be super comfortable. I don't want to look like I just woke up, but I also want to know that as I'm traveling for that long and you're sleeping, I need to be super comfortable. So I make sure that my bra is not anyone's with the uh, underwires or anything like that. I always, always travel with a bralette. The back has no closures on there, so it's not going to be digging into the back of the plane. Don't even feel like you have anything on. So I absolutely always travel any of my flights, even short flights with the bralette. The Apple tags absolutely will go into my luggage so I can know where it's going and making it sure it's getting through there or if it gets lost, I will have some better communication to be able to share where my bag is. So in my checked bag will be the main makeup that I wear through the whole trip. So this will have all my cosmetics, my bigger makeups that I don't want to take with me in the um, on the airplane. I suggest is to take a very small mirror. Lighting is not as bright for me that I need. So I have my magnifying, the regular mirror, and then this actually lights up. So I take this, it's super light, but really necessary for me to have in the hotel room. So I love this, it's super thin. I have a blazer, so if I need something like that to go for the day, I'm just gonna switch into that. Definitely have my tennis shoes on. I always take with me my wrap. So in case I get a little chillier at night, I can absolutely throw this on for the evening and run around. Or even if just during the day I don't want to take my blazer, I can take my wrap. My shoes are going to be my white tennis shoes that I know will be super comfortable for most of my travels. But I also grab a pair of flats that's kind of correlating with what I'm doing. These are super fun to run around. And I'm also just going to be taking my black pair with me. So I do have two packing cubes that I take. In this one, what I did is I definitely roll. These are the t-shirts and light sweaters that I am, and it will correlate back to my black blazer or the green sweater that I have. They don't need to take a steamer um, because they, you know, I make sure the materials travel really well and I'm not gonna worry about ironing, but usually most hotels or things like that will have an iron if you need it. So I am taking just bursts of this color with me. Absolutely looks fantastic with the green and it'll work with the black and white. I know sometimes people always say stick to one color. I kind of, what I do is I coordinate two of my colors because I can intermix them and feel like I have a new outfit on. The other bag that I have, um, keeps two things I don't buy when I go to Italy. <laughs> um, I, my underwear and bras, I love Soma and very addicted to it and I don't want to worry about my personal items. So my underwear and my bras always go with me that I need enough for my two weeks time. I also usually take one belt. So I have my lounge pants my that I will be traveling in and then I'm going to be taking two jogger kind of pants that will work and two jeans. So I stayed very basic with my clothes. The reason being I am not shopping for my basics. <laughs> the shopping is magnificent there, so much less than here, fashion beyond fashion. As I said about knowing where you, how you're traveling, this is about, I'm gonna go see my son who's stationed in Italy. So I'm gonna be heading several times back and forth on the train. That's why it's not really about dinners or any, I'll be eating a lot of street food, but it's gonna be a lot more about walking, getting to different places and just having a very casual Italy trip. I won't be sightseeing as much for the areas. It is really more about going to see my son and spending time with him. And then I'll be heading back up to my favorite city of all time in Italy, which is Modena. That's where my friends are. So I'll be heading up there and that's where I go shopping.
And then I'm going to be heading back down to Formia to see my son again one more time before he has to be shipped out. Then heading back to Rome <laughs> to fly home. So as you can tell, I'm going to be moving quite a bit. And that's what will be so wonderful about this trip. If you have special occasions or things like that, the packing will be different and the time of year will be different. So right now I'm going, this is March or March 1st, I will be going out there and the, I check your weather. So I know I'm going to be probably the highs of the 60s by the water. So, and it definitely will get down to more 40s in the evening. So I definitely need to layer and be um, kind of smart about how I'm traveling with this one. Safe travels. Ciao. Four things to do before traveling to Italy. Andiamo. Four things to make sure to pack for your plane ride. Andiamo.